Christmas at the Chateau is a pretty good film. This is the 2020 version. There's also a film called Christmas at the Chateau that I think came out the year before. I haven't seen it, but just for context, this is the 2020 version. I will watch the other one at some point. This is directed by Michael Robinson, written by Stephen Sessions and Nicole Baxter, and it stars Merritt Patterson as Margot. We also have Luke McFarlane as Jackson. And this is a pretty brilliant Christmas rom-com. I say brilliant because... It's got all of the hallmarks of a decent film. It's got a very believable relationship between our romantic protagonists. We have a lot of festivities, a lot of beautiful lights and Christmas colours and gorgeous music. And we also have a, a pretty decent story. Margo has returned to this chateau um, for Christmas and she rekindles her friendship I guess with Jackson they did have more than friendship in the past but they get on really well and it's nice to see that because often with Christmas rom-coms when old flames get back together they can be unnecessarily bitter but that's not what we have here and I like that and the film is all about them trying to put on this Christmas concert, kind of last minute, and Margot, although she is this world-famous pianist, she doesn't exactly want to be the only person performing, so it's about trying to find people last minute, and it's not as easy as they perhaps would have hoped it to be. And I won't say any more than that. With me describing it, it doesn't sound like the most interesting narrative, but there is enough substance for it to carry the story forward. And of course, we have very likable protagonists and with, you know, with Margot and, and Jackson, it helps that I enjoyed watching their story as well as the main narrative. So it ticks all of the right boxes. I think it's probably a pretty forgettable film. I enjoyed it, absolutely. But if you were to ask me to recount the narrative in six months or even a month's time, I'm probably going to forget a lot of it. But that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. It just means that it's, it's very much like a lot of other Christmas films. It doesn't have a spark to make it particularly unique. But if you are looking for a Christmas rom-com that you haven't seen, and you want one that's definitely got enough Christmas in it to be called a Christmas film, with some likeable protagonists, uh, a believable relationship between the main characters, and a pretty decent story to carry us through, then I'd say it's worth checking out. It may not be one that I watch again. It may not be one that I remember much about as time goes on, but I certainly enjoyed the time I spent watching it, and I'm happy to recommend it.